waiting on alternation to complete the line. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Stephen Foster Handicap. Mission impassable towards the outside. Nate's mineshaft on the inside as they come up beneath the twin spires. And Ron the Greek ran out of racing room as they all got very tight there. Rogue Romance was also shuffled back. Nero is out the back of the field and already outpaced. And it's a very strong early tempo being set by Nate's mineshaft. Wise Dan is racing in second and taking a strong hold on the outside of Fort Land. Alternation is towards the outside, racing in fourth position. Mission Impassable is in fifth, 23 and 3 for the opening quarter mile. A break back to Ron the Greek, Rogue Romance, and Nero at the back of the field is 10 lengths off the leader, who is Nate's Mineshaft as they go towards halfway in the 31st running of the Stephen Foster. And it's Nate's Mineshaft and Miguel Mena out in front by a length in second, Fort Land. Towards the outside, Wise Dan is racing in third. Now two and a half lengths back to Mission Impassable to the inside. Alternation is next, 47 and 1 was the half. Ron the Greek has got two behind. Rogue Romance is last but one and a long last is Nero as they go into the far turn. And it's Nate's Mineshaft with three eighths of a mile to go who leads by a length and a half. Wise down around the outside and a share of second with on the inside Fort Land. And these have now pulled four lengths clear of Mission Impassable. And then alternation towards the outside. Nate's Mineshaft leads them back towards home. Wise Dan still with two and a half lengths to find in second. Inside the final full and a half. Nate's Mineshaft still leads. Wise Dan in second. The cavalry are coming in behind towards the inside. That is Ron the Greek who is staying on. Also picking up late is Rogue Romance. Nate's Mineshaft purely on adrenaline now. Wise Dan bearing down on the outside. Ron the Greek to the inside. Wise Dan, Ron the Greek. It may be Ron the Greek, it might be Wise Dan, in a pulsating finish to the Stephen Foster. That is a photo finish, a photo finish hold all tickets. It's a photo. First, number five, Ron the Greek. Second, number one. Third, number two. And the fourth horse was number six. Objection, objection. An objection has been lodged by the rider of the six, Rogue Romance, Manny Cruz, for a possible infringement by the one, Wise Dan, in the final 70 yards. Once again, an objection has been lodged by the rider of the fourth placed home, the six, Rogue Romance, to the second past the post, the one, Wise Dan, for a possible infringement in the last 70 yards. Hold all tickets. Well, the objection and inquiry now takes place. Once again, there's an objection, fourth unto the second. Hold all tickets.
Now return to the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of the Stephen Foster Handicap Grade 1, the five Ron the Greek, a five-year-old bay horse by full mandate out of the fortunate prospect mare Flambe. Bred in Florida by Jack Hammer. Press stable of Niels Brush, Washtel stable of Adam Washtel, and Jack Hammer, the winning owners. The winning trainer, big race double for Bill Mott. The winning rider, Jose Lascano. Still the unofficial winner of the Stephen Foster, Ron the Greek. We're now about to have the trophy presentation for the Stephen Foster Handicap, although the race is still unofficial. Making the presentation is John Nerlinger, Manager and Passenger Sales, American Airlines. Making the presentation now to the connections of Ron the Greek, the unofficial winner of the Stephen Foster Handicap. Here is the result of the objection. The placings remain unaltered. There will be no change. Order of finish, 5, 1, 2, and 6. Race 8 is now official. 